No. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Birmingham's most controversial statue ever was King Kong. He arrived in the ball ring in 1972. The really good thing about it was everybody had a firm opinion of it. It wasn't a piece of concrete with a hole in that was supposed to be uh, aesthetically pleasing or something. You either liked it or you hated it. It's terrible. We're represented by the ball here. That's enough without that monstrosity. Oh, all right. Oh, like his red eyes. <laughs> it was here for six months, and the city council decided by one vote not to keep it because they only had it on loan. Mike Shanley bought King Kong for £2,000 and set up the King Kong Car Company. The first day it was there, busloads of people going past pointing and laughing at 7 o'clock in the morning. It was absolutely fantastic. Mike eventually sold the statue to another businessman and King Kong is now languishing in an open-air market in Edinburgh. I tried to get it back and we were setting up this classic car business here. And he wouldn't sell it for £100,000 now because he sells King Kong t-shirts, King Kong ice cream. It's a centre of attraction. It was just a replica of a big gorilla and it was made for Birmingham and it should have stayed here. But if the 70s are remembered for anything, it's for being the decade of the strike. Everyone seemed to be out or on the mark.